interesting experience. One in particular, I remember when I was 18, I had some far-flung notion that I could go sit in with Rasan Roland Kirk at the Village <laughs> Vanguard. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I, w I was so ill-prepared for this, but just had, you know, I mean, of course, when you ke really can't play, you don't know this. <laughs> so you do things that you really have no business doing, and that was definitely the case with me. So anyway, I got up enough nerve. I went down to the Village Vanguard. I, at the time, I was borrowing a, an instrument called a conophone. It was a, like a straight alto, but in the key of F. And I thought, you know, in lieu of my inexperience, Rasan would at least be somewhat interested in this <laughs> instrument. So maybe he'd take pity on me or whatever, let me play. So, so I go down there and, uh, you know, I show him this instrument and he's, you know, he's feeling it and he's going, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you think I could play a tune with you? And he went, yeah, okay, you know. So, I mean, I, th this was the tradition back then on Sundays. The, the, whoever was playing the Vanguard would let people sit in the last, last set. So I get up there and uh, I, I, there were, you know, there were some really serious, seasoned, experienced people sitting in and me, you know, who <laughs> had no business being there and uh, played nice, easy blues, you know, like, like that. And I thought, oh, thank, I'm going to be okay, you know, I, I might make it through. Got through the blues, played okay, everything seemed good. And then the next tune was uh, Limehouse Blues, you know, da 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 really fast, and I didn't know the tune. And the, the head went by in about four seconds, <laughs> and they pushed me up to the microphone, and the rhythm section stopped. <laughs> and there I was, and I had to play, and I made a good mess of that, and, uh, and and had to sort of slink out of the club, you know, I just hoping, you know, nobody saw me. And uh, I, I, I went home with my tail between my legs. And that was a real deciding factor in my career because at that point, number one, I, I knew I had a lot more work to do and I swore to myself I would never let that happen again. Mm -hmm. So I went home and I practiced. So that was one, th one, one thing I remember. I, another. I mean, the, another incident, uh, uh, you know, I mean, from a jazz perspective, sitting in was sort of one way to get circulating. I mean, I used to hear people say, well, go sit in, go to jam sessions, play with people, let people get to hear you. There was a jam session at the Cafe London on 23rd Street. Bobby Jones, who played with Mingus's band, led this jam session. So I went up there, had my tenor, and <clears throat> you know the, the octave key on a tenor, I know this is a mm. brass show, but <laughs> if that octave key isn't closing, you're out of business. I mean, you can maybe play two notes, right? So, because uh, uh, it just, there's no seal up there, so it really inhibits, it just makes any note below C and B totally resistant, you can't play it. So, I, unbeknownst to me, this octave mechanism was not working properly. So, I stood up to play, and I started to play, and I realized I could only play two notes. So, I started like going, and again, it was like, I will never you know what's happening, man. This is like, this is not going very well, you know, this sitting in in New York. And uh, I, I thought either they're going to just laugh me out of the door or they're going to think this is the hip new shit on the scene in New York, you know, like two notes, like minimalist blowing, you know. Anyway, those were my two experiences, like playing well, in New York. You know, I was not off to a good smooth start <laughs> by any means. Well, you, you certainly overcame those, uh, those well, early beginnings. But <laughs> those kind of experiences kick you in the pants, and, and they show you that you, you better have your act together when you show up in a place like New York to play, you know. And I didn't on many levels. And, um, uh, it was really a motive. Those were motivators, we like to say. Yeah.